fire recipe. Okay. Fire all right. Okay. All right. You come on the other side, Hannah. Okay. You stay right where you are, sir. Yeah, I and mean, you talk to her like that, okay? Okay, Brian. Um, tell me what you have. Uh, just before 1 p.m., 911 calls came in for structure fire. And uh, when we, uh, police were the first to arrive, they had a cruiser in the area. They arrived within about a minute and reported heavy smoke and fire throughout the structure. So uh, we knew we had a well involved home fire. And uh, our crew arrived a short time later and uh, made entry into unfortunately a smaller home. So by, by Brentwood standards, so we made actually a pretty good three pass night. So kind of cooking for a while. Right? They had been going for a while. Nobody was home. Uh, we did a primary and secondary search right away and didn't find anybody home. And uh, for whatever reason, even though it's in the front division, those lot uh, tell them tightly, so until the smoke started to escape heavily, apparently no neighbors even noticed it. What's that going on down? Uh, that's a task device. Uh, you'll hear that a lot of fire down. If our personnel are standing in a one location for too long, it automatically sounds uh, because it thinks there's a firefighter down. So, uh, and that's, a, that's also a low air alarm. Their, their uh, bottle just needs to be changed so out. So no cats, nobody in there as far as you know? As far as we know. We've done two complete searches. Once we get the seat of the fire completely knocked out, we're going to do a complete once through again. You don't think it was, um, um, you think there's somebody lived here, though, right? Yeah, it appears to be occupied. Uh, yeah. Uh, police department have identified a homeowner, and they're in the process of trying to contact them now. So they were just at work or something, Apparently we think? Apparently at work. Yeah. Uh, one of them said they thought they might work at Lipscomb, but that hasn't been confirmed, so... Do we have any idea of a cause at this point? No, actually the fire investigator is on scene. and He'll be getting in there shortly as soon as he's able to, to, uh, to breathe normal air and start looking around. About how long will that take before they can get in there? Uh, he'll probably be in there for the next 30 minutes. Okay. And I would imagine on scene a couple more hours. Gotcha. Where does it start? The middle, the back? The uh, I haven't been in yet. Okay, uh, yeah, there's still hitting hot spots. But from what I understand, the bulk of the fire on the officer's arrival is in the back of the house. And that's where the kitchen is and also a dining room. So that's kind of where we're focused. Any, any kind of difficulties or anything unusual no, about... No, no, this is by Brentwood standards. This is, uh, again, a fairly small house.